Before we get into today's video, I do want to let you guys know that this video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Please remember to be kind to everybody everywhere in your everyday life, in your home, in the grocery store, and especially in the comment section down below. Please do not show hate to anybody, anywhere. Good morning, my lovelies, my beauties, my friends. My name is Christina and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really hope that you will subscribe, stick around, take a chance and hearing some things that I have to say. And if you are a returning subscriber, y'all already know, y'all are my babies. So good morning, good morning, good morning. How is everybody doing today? I hope you all are having an amazing day. So I have been seeing them. I've been seeing y'all's emails, y'all's DMs, y'all's tags about the Madeline McCain situation that is going on right now. So if you have no idea what's going on and you're not all caught up, let me give you a little rundown. There is a woman that is in, a young lady or young woman who is in Poland right now who is 21 years old by her birth certificate, but she it could be 20 years old. It, it's, it seems unclear. And she believes that she is the real Madeline McCain. And uh, in this video, I'm going to tell you guys all of the reasons why she believes that. I'm going to show you guys the proof of why she believes that. I'm going to tell you guys what her family, who she does not even think is her family, um, and, and all of this stuff and, and connect the dots. And then at the end, I'm going to tell you guys what I think. Okay. So make sure you guys stay to the end. If you're not caught up to date with who Madeline McCain is, which I really believe pretty much just about everybody knows who she is, even if you don't know all the little details, because this was such a huge story. Madeline McCain was born May 12th of 2003, and she was a British girl, and she was on vacation with her family in May of 2007 when she was just three years old. She went missing and she was taken from her bed where she slept at a Portuguese resort. So she's been missing for about 16 years at this point and it has been a huge story. I mean, there's documentaries still being made about it, uh, 60 Minutes, Netflix. I mean, it was a very huge story. Now the parents got a lot of heat in the beginning for multiple reasons. One, because they were on vacation and they left their small children in this resort sleeping while they went out to dinner and had drinks and stuff. And listen, I don't know what the culture is like over there. I don't know. It, it may be extremely safe and this is a normal thing because I did see in an interview that the parents said that they had done it the night before. They had done it plenty of times. They put the kids to sleep and then they go and have a couple drinks or whatever and there's never been a problem. Well, investigators believe that somebody snuck into the window and took Madeline and she's disappeared and she's been gone this whole time. Now, Madeline McCain's mother and father still to this day are looking for her. And we just have to, to go with the process and follow it through whatever it takes for as long as it takes, you know, but there's still hope that we can find Madeline. They said they have, they have never given up. Um, no remains or anything has ever been found. And so they still have hope that she's alive out there. And now this young woman, this young Polish woman has come forward. Her name is Julia and believes that she is the real Madeline McCain. And there's some pretty compelling evidence, but let me show it to you guys. And then at the end, when I tell y'all what I think, I really want to know what you guys think, okay? Before we go any further, I did want to stop and thank today's sponsor, Liquid IV. Liquid IV is a hydration multiplier that hydrates you two times faster than just drinking water alone. Liquid IV packets are also packed full of five essential vitamins like vitamin B3, B5, B6, B12, and vitamin C. And you get three times the electrolytes than any other regular sports drink. And to make things better, Liquid IV has brought back one of their most popular flavors, Seaberry. Now, Seaberry is bursting with tropical fruit flavor. It's got a hint of pineapple, sweet orange, super yummy. It also has over 400 positive reviews online, and now Seaberry flavor is back to stay permanently. I carry my Liquid IV in my purse, in my gym bag. I will definitely be having some packed in my beach bag for when 
when I'm at the beach this summer. And for me personally, being hydrated is a must. Did you know that most Americans are walking around chronically dehydrated? Yes, and I've told you guys before, you can buy all the face creams that you want. If you're not hydrating from within, it's not gonna matter. You want to try Liquid IV and especially the new sea berry flavor. Ah, so delicious. All you gotta do is click the link down in the description box and use code Christina Randall, and you can save 20% off plus free shipping. Yes, all you gotta do is just click the link down in the description box, use my code Christina Randall, and you can save 20% off plus free shipping today. Thanks again, Liquid IV. I'm going to put Julia's claims together as the best I can. Please, you guys go do your own research, form your own opinion. I'm just speaking on very public information that's out there. She has done some lives. She has posted lots of pictures. She said that this thought all started from something that her grandmother said to her. Now, Julia said when she was a young girl, she was taken advantage of by a man, okay? And because of that, she said she developed PTSD, complex PTSD, and also PTSD amnesia. And she cannot remember anything before the age of four. Okay, now remember, Madeline went missing at age three. She said that because of this, this, this situation, this traumatizing situation that she had with this man, and she developed these, you know, loss of memory and all of that stuff. When her, her, she's speaking to her grandmother, her grandmother said to her that allegedly she believed that her parents knew about everything that she had went through as a young kid the whole time. So that sparked her interest to look further into her childhood. Like, wait a minute, did my parents know the whole time that this was happening to me, that it's causing me all these issues? She says she's been in and out of facilities as a, as a kid because of the, the trauma and da, 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 da. And this is when she realized she couldn't remember anything. She had one memory as a small child and it was while she, it was that she was at the beach. Something like a uh, little line river uh, on beach and they they there were turtles and children play with turtles i mean try to get them on 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 hands and i don't remember more i remember only this playing with some other kids they were like on this white sandy beach. There was white buildings, which also looks like the resort that Madeline was taken from. She said the more she looked into it, she realized that her family did not have any photos of her at the age of younger than four years old. She said there were no pictures. And then she also said that she didn't have any pictures and her mom didn't have any pictures of her mom being pregnant. So she's like looking at all these things like, wait a minute, why is my life basically four years old and younger just not exist? This is, this is the train of thought that it seems like this Julia is in. Julia said when she spoke to her teachers that her teachers said that she didn't start school till she was four years old, which to me doesn't seem alarming because here in America, you start school at four years old too, but she's, she's building this like, wait a minute, things are not adding up. They also said that when she tried to talk to her mom about her childhood or when she was younger than four, that her mom immediately avoids the conversation or she'll change the subject and she just will not speak to her at all about her life prior to the age of four. Julie was asked if she had a birth certificate and she said she has an ID card, but that when she calls to get a birth certificate, they will not give it to her, that they just, tell her what the information is. And I don't know if that's suspicious or not because I don't know how it works in other countries. I just know how it works here in America. Now get this. This is strange and I need this verified because this 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 is really what makes you go, wait a minute, whoa, 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 whoa. Julia claims that her grandmother is allegedly married to a man named Paul Ney. And it seems like she may believe that this Paul Ney is the father of Martin Ney, who was directly involved in the investigation with Madeline McCain. And just to throw another little cherry on top, Julia also says that the person that took advantage of her when she was a young child's name was Peter Ney. And she said that when she saw Martin's picture, she immediately recognized him like she knew him. So now she's putting all these things together. Then what may be the most compelling piece of evidence that Julia thinks that she is Madeline McCain, and, and, and I ain't gonna lie, it got me thinking too, 
was these pictures right here of Madeline McCain's eye. She has an eye defect or she had an eye defect at three years old and then a photo of Julia's eye. They both have the same eye defect in the same exact eye. You see that little dark spot that goes down like that? And allegedly this eye defect is very rare and it's only in like, I think, I think it said one in 10,000, which to me, I guess didn't seem like a, a very rare, I guess, but it said that it's a very rare eye defect and they have the same exact mark. Now, this is when I saw the eye thing and I heard about the, the nays, I think that's how you say their last name in EY. This is what made me go, hold up. Is this really her? Now, Julie said she went to her parents and begged them for a DNA test. And they said, we're not giving you a DNA test. That's ridiculous. They refused to give her a DNA test. They told her she was mentally unstable, da, 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 da. So this is when she just kind of like was, hold up, wait a minute, this, everything is strange. So she started trying to reach out to Madeline McCain's mother and father, and she couldn't get in touch with them, which I'm so glad she couldn't because when this whole thing happened with, with little baby Madeline, like you can only imagine the people trying to reach out to them. They do have other kids that they have been raising and that they have to, you know, stay mentally sane for, but they're also still looking for their daughter. And so because Julia could not get a hold of the parents, she, she took to social media. Now she has got an Instagram page and I'm gonna leave it linked down in the description box. Last time I checked, it looked like it had almost a million followers within like a week. So people are checking this out. Let me look it up while we're here right now. One million, as of today, she's on there crying. She's saying that, you know, she believes that she's Madeline McCain. And that's all. That's all. No, I'm not trying to get attention. Even if I'm not Maddie, I could be another girl maybe, but I, I believe that I'm, I'm Maddie. But then also, she, she also says that she doesn't know. Maybe she's not Madeline McCain. Maybe she's somebody else's child. The thing also that I found interesting about this girl, Julia, is she said in a live that people were offering her money and that she didn't take the money. She's not looking for fame. She's not looking for popularity, but that she didn't want to take the money because she doesn't want people to think she's lying. I tried to do it because I, I know I, I want you to believe me because I'm honest and I, I, I am not a liar. People told me that they can give me money for DNA tests. And I answer to every person that I don't want their money because uh, I don't want people, I don't want to make people think that I'm a liar. She really believes that she could be Madeline McCain. So it seemed compelling. I mean, I, I'm following it. I, I've been watching it. However, people kept pressing her to post a photo of her parents. She kept saying she didn't want to post a photo of her parents. And she eventually did. Now, when she posted this photo right here of her and allegedly her mother, this is when I said, I don't know, she looks exactly like her mama to me. She looks exactly like her mother. So there's a couple things that I think is going on here, if you guys want to know my opinion. Um, I think that she could be, I don't know. Oh, this is the part I forgot to tell y'all. The McCains heard about this and they are going to do a DNA test with her. They're going to go do a DNA test and they are, she's going to do a DNA test, Julia is, to see if she's her daughter. After seeing that picture of her mother, I don't even know if she needs to. The, these are the things that I find interesting. First of all, if her parents, biological parents believe that she is mentally unstable and she has been in and out of facilities her whole life, why not just go and do a DNA test with her and just get it over with so she doesn't have to disrupt this other family? Because Julia said her parents, the people that claimed to be her parents, were mad at her because they said that she was giving the McCain's false hope and that she was mentally ill. Well, if you believe that, go do a DNA test. Another thing that I find interesting is why doesn't the McCain's have their DNA in a database somewhere? The fact that they have to go do a DNA test, like I feel like they should be in 23andMe and Ancestry.com and all of that stuff because what if Madeline is alive and out there somewhere, has no idea about any of this, decides to do a 23andMe one day and it matches and, and she doesn't even, you know, she doesn't even know. Like what if the, what if that eye defect grows out of her eye and, and all of these things? Like 
I feel like they should have their DNA in a database. Even if somebody comes and gets arrested one day and it hits, like, I, I maybe they do. I, I don't know, but it doesn't, to me, it doesn't make sense that they have to go and take a DNA test. I'm glad they're willing to do a DNA test though, because it just shows even more that they just, they want to find their daughter and they want to know the truth. At this point, if you ask me if I think Julia is Madeline, I'm going to tell you guys, no, I don't. Unfortunately, I don't. Do I think that this young woman, Julia, has, is doing this on purpose? I actually don't. I think she has been through some traumatic experiences and it's playing out on the internet right now and she's, she's having a hard time. That's what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below when the DNA test comes back. If they make it public, I'll update you guys. If it's, if it's not a whole bunch of information like she's Madeline, I'll put it in the community tab. So make sure you guys check there and let me know what you guys think down below and why. Do you think this is Madeline? If you do, let me know why. I have saw on like another video that another girl is now coming out saying that she's Madeline McCain. It's just like, man, the McCains, just put your DNA in a database and anybody that thinks that they're Madeline, tell them to go and do that 23andMe or whatever. Let me know what you guys think down below. Other than that, I will see y'all on Friday. I love you guys. Thank y'all for watching and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye. <laughs>